Hello and welcome back to Contradiction! I'm pretty sure that what I'm going to be able to ask people about is the accusation that Simon did it. So let's go see, let's head down to James's first. Just to um, get him out of the way. And then I'll go to Emma and then Simon last. As usual, I like to ask the person who's being accused last. So, yes, Ryan's accusation. Cool beans. Here you go, James. Do you know how well Simon knew Kate? Not really. Did you ever see them together? So why do you think he killed her? I've no idea. Do you think he'd be capable of that? Do you think we're all capable of it? No, I don't. Sure. So you've never been in your police car responding to an incident? Driven past school at high speed? Dunno. Maybe. Well, you've answered your own question then. When you've got a need and things get in your way, it's human nature to either ignore them or get rid of them. Any way you can. That's all murder is, isn't it? Maybe you're right. That was super deep, James. Thanks for being my spirit animal yet again. All right. Doesn't know how else to do it. Thinks everyone is capable of murder. All right. Let's go Be talk to Emma. Wrong, if that's okay. We're just gonna upset Emma because she actually loves the albino derp. Albino derp. Fresh, creamy albino derp. <laughs> hey, Emma. Ask you a couple more things, please. Yes, just one. Here we go. Did Simon mention walking home with anyone after the meeting last Friday? No, he just came home. Why? He didn't mention walking home with Kate. No, definitely not. <laughs> so that's all she has to say about that. All right, here we okay, go. that's it for now. Thank you. Is it time for Simon's big crying scene like everyone else has had? Here we go. Cry for me. What would you say if I said it's been suggested that you were seen walking home with Kate after Atlas last Friday? What? By who? The same person who suggested that you wanted Kate out of the picture because you found out she was in the running to be prime candidate. Who said that? Just a question. Well, I didn't think I was in the running. It was Ryan, wasn't it? I am in no position to say. It was Ryan! Simon, calm down. No, I can prove it. Kate's driving license, give it to me. Why? Kate's driving license, please. See that pattern on the tape there? Let me show you something. See this pattern? I like that. It's the same pattern. This has come from the same roll of tape as this. So? So there's only one person that's taped like that. Ryan. He gave me this piece of tape when I was in his office once. Why has Kate's driving license got a piece of Ryan's tape on it? I have no idea, Simon. Where did you find it? Oh, by the lake. But it's a piece, isn't it? Ryan was testing her. He was doing a boundary test to see how much she would do, how far she would go to be a prime candidate. But it all went wrong. <laughs> okay. It's one of the things we do at the course, right? You give something that's important to you to someone else, and they go and hide it somewhere. It's to teach you to not be bothered when you lose something that's important to you, all right? Kate gives her driving license to Ryan. Ryan goes and hides it somewhere down the lake. Kate finds out, she goes down looking for it, probably drunk, and she falls in. <sighs> I'm afraid I find that a bit far-fetched, Simon. <laughs> it makes perfect sense if you know anything at all about how Atlas works. But Simon, if you got the tape from Ryan, Kate could have got it from him. He told me he doesn't lend it out. He lent it to you. But I didn't kill her! Do a lab test on the card! His DNA will be all over it. And what if yours is all over it? <laughs> it won't be! I didn't kill her! I'm sorry, just... 
Just, just give me a minute. I need, I need some painkillers. he go in such a hurry? Is he trying to act as suspiciously as possible? Where'd you go, Simon? I knew that was gonna be his screaming scene. Um, I saw the tape on the license from the very beginning, but to insist, and plus, that cutscene's subtitles had so many fucking typos. Anyway, um, to insist that only one person has a kind of tape is like the silliest thing I've ever heard in my life, but okay. We are going to, um, I guess head down this way first? No. I always like to check everything, just because I have no idea what's going on. So let's go ahead into the woods. I, they, I'm just gonna keep going. They're not gonna be on the fucking jetty. Clearing? No. Maybe they are on the jetty. Let's go this way. Yeah, they're on the jetty. Every single time, I check the jetty and nobody's there. <laughs> And this time, they're all hanging out by the lake. Or not? Oh wait, did he just go to Atlas? Is that what I was supposed to assume? Well, we're going in. I can't go into Atlas, it's locked. Why was it telling me to go into the woods? <laughs> Check the fucking tip. Oh. So I'm not supposed to care? Let's go ask Emma some, some shit. Where's your albino boyfriend? Where did your albino boyfriend run off to, Emma? He was just- <laughs> You can't see- Can't see Simon, he's not there just anymore. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. So, where did he go? Patterned sticky tape. Simon claimed that only Ryan had a patterned tape like this sample. Yeah, it was all over the condoms we used. Have you seen this anywhere before? Uh, I've seen it somewhere, but I can't remember. Sorry, no. It's on Ryan's condoms. All right, we are Thank going you. to back later. visit James first because he might say that the tape was on the box, in which case there's connections between everyone in this fucking town. Boop, 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 boop. Ask about a few more things, please. Just the tape. Ever seen tape like this anywhere before? No. Nah. James, please. All right, we are going to ask Thank Rebecca. You. Probably be back later. Maybe Simon will be in there with Rebecca, being like, "Why are you telling everyone about our tawdry affair? You don't like albino hair on your sheets? You don't like albino hair on your sheets?" Hi, everyone. Beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Just one, or maybe two. No. Sticky tape. Have you seen patterned tape like this anywhere before? Oh, Ryan's got some. I know, cause I borrowed it. When was that? A couple of months ago. Have you still got it? I don't think so. I haven't seen it since then. Okay, that's odd. But um. Why would it matter if she saw the tape two months ago? Does that mean, like, Ryan still has it on That's him or something? Thank you. I'm going to check the tip again, because I don't know. Oh, I'm calling the chief now? Simon's disappeared, and I'm calling the chief. All right. I'm calling my boyfriend the chief. Everyone back the fuck up. I'm calling the chief. The chief. Hey, chief. Paul admitted that they do use threshold testing. Apparently they get a wedge of cash from various companies in exchange for each prime candidate they produce. Interesting. Also, I met Ryan and some of his 
friends in the woods in the middle of some sort of occult ceremony. I have no idea what they were doing, but it did not look good. But Ryan insisted that Simon walked Kate home after the meeting last Friday. He's claiming Simon killed her. And what does Simon say? He doesn't agree, not surprisingly. He says it was Ryan because of something to do with a piece of tape stuck to Kate's driving license, which Simon claims belonged to Ryan. Claims it was Ryan who was testing Kate by sticking the driving license to a tree in the woods in the dark and telling Kate to get it, knowing she'd fall in. And no, before you ask, it doesn't make any sense to me either. Right, so basically Simon says Ryan was testing her and Ryan says Simon was testing her. Well, either one of them is lying or neither of them are. And nobody was testing anybody. I suppose that's always a possibility. Wouldn't surprise me, Jenks. Well, I don't know. I can't help you. Be as close as you're going to get. Just check everything that everyone said. Go through everyone's statements. The answer's in there somewhere. Call me back when there's some good news, eh? Preferably a confession. I wonder if I can get one. Yeah. Thanks, Chief. Good night. All right, so we've been given... The all clear. The game has nothing more for me. <laughs> Plus, it's removed two people. Or three, even. Because I, I don't think I can talk to Paul. Yeah. So it's removed three people. I have Emma, Rebecca, and James, who I can still question to find a contradiction that will get me the ability to accuse somebody. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna write everything down. I'm gonna examine everything, because some people have said some shit that doesn't make sense, but they're not eligible to be spoken to anymore, so I can't even bring it up with other people. So we'll see how that goes. I'll do my best. I won't cheat this time. I promise. I'm determined to get the end of this game, but seriously, I would not have gotten that threshold testing CD by myself. Good Lord Jesus, baby Jesus. <laughs> I wouldn't have figured that out. So anyway, I will figure this out myself, though. And I will be back with what is probably, let's check and see, 96%! It'll probably be the conclusion of Contradiction. It's been a wild ride. It's been immensely enjoyable, and I seriously hope they are making a sequel as I speak. I need to go look that up. I hope they are, man. I hope Jenks can become like the Agatha Christie of 2015. Because this is just marvelous. I love this game so much. Anyway, see you when I see you. Which will be soon. <laughs> Bye.